Hello everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to my Beautiful Nights channel. For this video, I wanted to show you guys my new No More Oops bead tray. It is made of Velux, which is the same material bead mats are made from. It sits perfectly on my bead mat and doesn't move or slide around. I also like to use this in my bead tray. I also want to show you how easy this is to pick up when it's loaded down with beads. So as you can see, I have a bunch of beads in here and I can just pick it right up. It's very stiff actually, and I can move it to my other bead tray. This is my inexpensive velvet jewelry tray that I love to use for beading. It also has a clear plastic lid to keep dust and my cat out. And here's the lid. I just sit this on top of my cat. He can step on this, but he can't get to the beads. So I also want to show you how I can move the tray around and my beads are moving but this bead tray, the No More Oops bead tray is staying in place and it's not moving around because this is velvet and this is the velour, the velux, they're sticking to each other really nicely and nothing is shifting. Another thing that I really like about the No More Oops bead tray is that the beads do not slip under the divider walls. So as you can see, I'm running my fingernail here, and there's no gaps that the beads can run under and get stuck, which is really awesome. And it is also easy to take the leftover beads out and put them back into their own containers. I just use a bead scoop to pick them up, and different scoopers can also be used. Now, if you want, you can just use your fingers, but I like to use a bead scooper to just get them all at one time. So this bead scooper here has tweezers at one end and then the shovel at the other. So for example, the C beads, because of how this is shaped, all the compartments, I can just easily go like this and pick all of my C beads up in one shot, which is awesome, and dump them back into their container. And I also have a scooper like this so I can pick up my beads like this and put them back into their own container. So as you can see, it's really nice bead tray to work with. It makes everything so much easier. And I just have to tell you guys, my favorite thing about this tray is how many compartments there are. A lot of the times when I'm designing jewelry, I'm using so many different beads. And as you can see, this is going to be an upcoming tutorial. And look, each compartment has something in it. This is so nice, and I'm really loving this part about this. And I also like that there is a letter marking on the top of each compartment. There's a whole bunch of patterns and designs out there, and they mark the color of the bead with a letter so I also like that they're marked too that's also very helpful and by the way the no more oops B tray shipped to me super fast it was here within a few days and I got the B tray from lakesidejewelry.net if you are interested in buying your own B tray use the coupon code a b n all caps I'll put it up on the screen to receive a free fire and smoke peyote pattern with your order. I will put the link to the website and the coupon code for the free pattern in the description bar below this video. I will be using all of these beads to make a bracelet in my next tutorial so keep an eye out for that. This is it. I hope you found this video helpful. Please like this video, leave me a comment, subscribe if you want to see more of my videos, and don't forget to click the bell button so you get notified when I upload new videos, and like me on Facebook. And don't forget to share pictures of the jewelry you've made from my videos on my Facebook page, and follow me on Pinterest. Thanks for watching!